Setting up your Batteries tab to display customized batteries can be a big time saver in your use of Q Interactive. Let's take a look at the Batteries tab on the website to see what options are available to us. Batteries are created on Central, so upon logging in through my browser, I arrive at the dashboard, which is a summary of recent activity, as well as the entry point for our practice assessments. Let's now look at the Batteries tab. I see my library of tests as I scroll down the page, and clicking on a battery expands it, listing their component subtests. However, that's the complete test, and I may only be interested in administering some of these. Within the cell 5, I'll start by sorting by age. Now I can view the available composites in the adjacent dropdown. I'll check a box and the list adjusts immediately, and I can select multiple composites if I like. Show Details expands these subtests to reveal additional information, and clicking it again compresses those details. Once I have the subtests I want, I now want to save this for future use. Click the Create New Battery button at the top, and these Add buttons now appear. Click the Add button for each subtest, and they are viewable behind the button at the top. The estimated duration is also listed. Once you have everything you want, click the Configure and Save button to add a little bit more detail and customization. First, let's give this test a name. So in my example, 11-year-old self 5. Within the Description field, I can provide some more details, so I can articulate the content of this battery. In this example, I'll enter Core Language Index only. I can publish this battery through this option on the left. So if I make this selection, all other practitioners in the account will see this battery that I named 11-year-old self within their Batteries tab. By default, this setting keeps this battery only visible within your individual login. Lastly, I can reorder the subtests in the battery by click, drag, and drop. Clicking Save brings me back to the Batteries tab, with my new battery displayed alongside the rest of them. Let's now set up a test session. From the Clients tab, I'll click on my examinee's name. Next, click the Create New Assessment button to advance to My Batteries. Click the Add button adjacent to the battery, then click the Next button at the top of the page to now schedule the test. Clicking Finish, and now this Send to iPad button, and my test session is queued up, ready for delivery to my Assess app. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you.